this drill absolutely transforms people's ideas of impact and strike in a way that really changes driver, but predominantly much crisper iron strikes from the ground where people can get a little bit fat and thin. So it's super easy to do, and I want you to do it on the course before you hit shots, which I'll show you. And I want you to do it on the range. You can even do it at home. All you need is yourself and a club. And to be fair, you don't even need that when you're doing the drill at home. So we're dealing with fat and fins, which can be drivers, but predominantly shots from the ground. So irons, hybrids, woods from the ground as well. So I see a lot of people who just basically trail arm, doesn't want to get across their body for many reasons. Their body might be in the way and they dump the club in the ground. They might stand the club up and throw it over, throw them right elbow out and back as they come to hit the boy. I think sits back and you get these kind of crumpled impact positions, which loads of you see if you take pictures of yourself and what have you. Now, really simple drill to get the feeling of beating that. I want you just to set up to an imaginary ball. I've got my trail hand on the club here, so my right hand is a right-handed golfer. Lead hand, I'm just gonna hold my trail elbow, so my right elbow. I'm gonna make barely a backswing, so kind of waist height with a club. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my elbow across my body as I turn to come through an imaginary shot. So about waist height with the club, little bit of hip turn, little bit of shoulder turn. Now from here, I'm pulling this elbow in across my chest, forward across my body to get this nice exiting high and left with the club idea. Now I want you to try and do this with your hips swaying forwards and see what happens. You're gonna find you crash. So when you do this drill, what you can do to help you make the movement is get your left leg straightening, posting, left hip coming back and up. This gives you space to really pull this arm across your chest and out in front of you. Now, at the same time, you could try and get the club pointing somewhere down parallel to your ball to target line. So sink it with a club face. You don't want the club particularly pointing up at the sky. You don't want to be pulling it through and whipping your hands over. So I'm just gonna get this through and get the club toe end pointing up at the sky as I pull this across my body. And then what I'm gonna do is try and remember those feelings, use those feelings to get the same idea as I come in to hit my golf shot. What happens is it moves low point for lots of golfers into the right place, subject to where your ball position is. And for lots of them, a little bit more up to the ball and forwards. I do this drill with so many students and it totally transforms their strike straight away. And then I want them to integrate it into their rounds. So now we're thinking of how can we get the feeling that the drill promotes the safety net of the drill out onto a golf shot. So one thing I'll try and get them to do is stand relatively close to the ball, so not too far away. Do a couple of the ideas of the swing maybe before they hit their shot. Take their practice swings away so they're not out here doing a million routines. And then step in and hit that shot, trying to recreate, recall those feelings that you get from the drill. For me personally, I would stand behind the ball here looking at my shot, thinking about my shot. I would do it a couple of times down the line of the ball before walking in. Again, no practice swings. They're gonna count as my practice swings. I'm practicing that feeling, trying to recall it, so I can now put it in to my golf shot. It's bleeding those two together because the drill just makes people strike the ball better. It's getting that feeling out onto that shot is the trick because the more time you leave between the drill and the shot, the more your brain, it kind of those ideas, those feels start to just evaporate, they decide to degrade and you can't then get it out onto the ball, which is why doing it close is good. Also doing it at home, if you think about it, so doing it five minutes at home each day, you don't even need the club, you could just put your hand down in a clap position, get the feeling of turning against that left side, remember you're posting up on this side, as you pull your elbow across your body, then taking it to your next practice session might help, but if you think about that, let's say Monday, I do the drill for hours, and then I go and play on Saturday. So at the end of the week, from the start of the week, the chances of those feelings beating out onto the course, really slim. Little bits each day, and certainly as close as you can to your shots, working it into your routine. Like I say, it transforms people's strikes. We know if this helps, simple idea, you can do it really helps with chipping as well. I've been doing it with my short game, trying to make sure that I don't duck the club back here, which is common for the fats and fins, and it bleeds through onto long game and pitching as well. Pull that trail elbow through, with your lead hand and start striking some better strikes and getting out there and having a lot more fun. Let me know if this helps.